Hey everyone, good morning. I can't believe you all woke up for the first session in the day. Pretty impressive. Um, so hey, I'm Tomer. I'm uh, the tech strategist here at the Stella Development Foundation. And this morning we're going to talk about Soroban. So Soroban, Turing, um, Turing Complete Smart Contracts native to the Stellar platform. If you've been following this year, you'll know that in March we announced Project Jump Cannon, uh, introducing smart contracts to Stellar. Um, so there's some backstory about why we're doing this now, but we'll get into that a bit later in the Q&A. But where I want to start off today is by why we decided to build this ourselves. And that's because the smart contract landscape just didn't really meet the standards we were looking for. So when we decided to build smart contracts on Stellar, we did a pretty thorough inven inventory of everything that was out there, and we compared it to our wish list. But nothing really fit the bill. On the scalability front, we wanted a platform that's built to scale from the ground up. We wanted something that can handle the current traffic on Stellar, which already operates on, Stel on Stellar. And we also wanted to uh, plan for growth. So what we found were systems that are unoptimized, not built for concurrency, and have a crippling fee regime. We wanted something sensible. So we wanted an opinionated system that guides developers towards a sensible design and best practices. What we found were ambiguous systems that uh, leave the developer confused and give them way too much rope to hang themselves with. So we also wanted a consistent developer experience. We wanted developer tools that are high quality, things that are consistent and familiar for developers. What we found were developer ecosystems that are plagued with a patchwork of tooling with varying quality. So now don't get me wrong. There's some good stuff happening in the smart contract space in other networks, but nothing really fit the bill for what we were looking for. So we decided to set a new standard for smart contracts. And to that, we needed to build it ourselves. Soroban is named after the Japanese abacus, inspired by the technology that is a design that is still in use today because it is, because it, because it is compact, minimalist, focused on the essentials, and doing them really well. So with that, we designed Soroban, a smart contracts platform that's designed with purpose and built to perform. Let's dig a bit into what that means. First of all, Soroban is designed for a batteries-included developer experience. That means immediate access to all the tools you need for devel that developers need to get started quickly and implement effectively. Here are some of the things that we have. We have a local sandbox that's set up for fast setup and iterative development. This means that you can run and debug your contracts locally without even running uh, a Stellar network or connecting to a Stellar network. It means we have a rich set of host functions and built-in contracts so that you don't have to constantly reinvent the wheel. For example, we have a built-in efficient token contract. So that means no more copying and pasting ERC-20 contract style nonsense. Soroban is built with Rust from the ground up. The Soroban virtual machine is written in Rust, and smart contracts are written in Rust. This allows us to tap into a growing set of efficient and safe tooling in the Rust ecosystem. So you can use things like prop test, you can use um, your testing libraries, you can use whatever your favorite fuzzer is in Rust. But if you don't want to write, uh, if you don't want to write contracts in Rust, that's also okay. Soroban is built on the WebAssembly standard, WASM, which means that you can build SDKs using your favorite compiled to WASM programming language. And we already have a community member working on an assembly script SDK. So Sonessa, if you're here, shout out to that. Right here. Soroban is designed for scale. So that means it can process growth with things like concurrency. So Soroban transactions include something we call footprints, which are kind of like the dependency declaration for transactions. That means you can group transactions by these dependencies and run them in parallel, which takes advantage of modern multi-core architecture. 
we got rid of most of the serialization, deserialization loops in smart contracts because when we looked at other platforms and what smart contracts are wasting their time doing, we saw there's a lot of serialization and deserialization happening. We got rid of most of that. We're building a fine-tuned um, fee gas model to achieve strong correlation between compute and fees. This may sound trivial, but if you look at other ecosystems, you can have two contracts, both of them paying the exact same amount of fees, one of them performing orders of magnitude slower. That's inefficient and that is unfair. So to maximize throughput and lower fees, you must have a, ga a gas model that's calibrated to actual compute. We're also tackling the elephant in the room, which is ledger bloat. So blockchains are growing to an untenable size, and we really need to do something about this. So my colleague Justin Rice, who's here somewhere, wrote a blog post about this uh, issue, and uh, this is something that we're tackling head on, and uh, we're designing a state archiving model um, around that, so stay tuned. We're going to uh, publish some more information about that soon enough. Lastly, Soroban is designed for reliable access to financial rails via Stellar. So we're incorporating Soroban into the existing Stellar tech stack and ecosystem. So we can harness the best of what Stellar already has. We have things like a proven reliable network that has been running live since 2015. We've been closing ledgers in a timely manner, five seconds to, fi to finality on average, and we've been processing 150 transactions per second. That's a weekly average, and this is real TPS measured this past week. We're not talking about advertised bullshit that you see in other networks. Um, and most importantly, we tap into Stellar's global anchor network for on and off ramps uh, and its assets, including worldwide cash access through things like MoneyGram. And we're also including access to all top-tier exchanges and custody providers that already support Stellar. OK, so that was a lot of features. Um, let's talk a bit about some announcements. Soroban is live on FutureNet. Thank you. Soroban is live on FutureNet. FutureNet is an incentivized public test network. We're going to have multiple iterations of FutureNet in the following months and into the beginning of next year as we work towards our scheduled mainnet release in the first half of 2023. FutureNet is far from being production ready, but it's a step forward to uh, collaborate on and get feedback from early adopters, hopefully some of them in this room. So you can now write and deploy smart contracts into a public network. You can build decentralized applications, dApps. You can build developer tools, and you can publish content, and you can do whatever you want on Soroban. The more engagement we get in this phase, the more feedback you provide, the more robust Soroban will be when it's launched on May 9th next year. So we really want to get you involved. And this raises the question, who is FutureNet for? How can you use it? What can you build on it? So if we fast forward for a minute and imagine Soroban on Stellar in the future, you can imagine all sorts of use cases. Soroban on Stellar allows innovative decentralized finance to reach the people who need it the most. So imagine products like truly community-owned savings banks. Imagine community crowdfunding and ownership for micro-public works projects. Imagine tools which not only bring financial access to people without it, but also give them control and ownership of these tools themselves. For example, later today, Paul, one of the engineers on the platform team, will showcase a demo of a decentralized crowdfunding uh, platform that he built on Sorbonne. And this will happen during the Write Your First Smart Contract uh, session later today. So uh, this is a must for engineers. Check it out 1 PM on the dev stage. So what do we have live today? Let's make it clear. FutureNet is for developers and early adopters. These are the people that want to help us shape innovation at the ground floor. And this is where we're at right now. We want tinkers. We want early adopters. We want dev shops. We want tool builders. 
come, take it out for a spin, write and deploy your first contract, make it an NFT, write a blog post about it, make a video about it, um, build a tool, build a dev tool, do whatever you like. And most importantly, we want to learn from you what we can do better, because nothing is, is quite set in stone yet. And we're also willing to make that interesting for you. And with that, we reach the second announcement for the day. We've created a dedicated reserve in our mandate specifically to support Sorbonne adoption. A hundred million dollars, to be precise. <laughs> Danelle is surprised we haven't told her. Um, <laughs> $100 million that will go towards supporting builders on Sorbonne. So we will be creating various incentive programs um, that will award these funds to developers, builders, and others um, with our first program announced today. The program is Sorbonathon First Light. Sorbonathon First Light. It's a fun thing to say. You should try it. Sorbonathon First Light will provide eligible developers uh, that are testing Sorbonne and sharing feedback through Sorbonne-related content. So this includes things like code examples, tutorials, and even GitHub issues. Uh, more details on Sorbonnethon First Light are available on sorbonne.stellar.org today. Go check it out. Let's talk a bit about the timeline. So you know, if you've been following along, it's been a very busy year. We made the decision to build smart contracts at the beginning of the year. And uh, we launched Project Jump Cannon in March, made some design announcements in Q2, released an initial preview last quarter, and now we're live on FutureNet. So we're moving fast, probably faster than ever before. But there's still a long road ahead. So as for the future, we're working to bring uh, more iterations of FutureNet along with more incentives throughout this quarter and into early 2023 and gearing up for a general availability launch in Q2 2023. And I'm going to keep reiterating this. The future nets, both the one that we launched today and the next iterations, we really, they're vital. We really need your feedback because we don't want to design in, um, in a box. We want this to be an open experience with you folks. Um, and this brings me to probably my most important message of the day. Go to sorabon.stellar.org. It's live today. It's got Sorabonathon. It's got FutureNet on it. And uh, it's really fun. And go check out Paul's talk, 1 p.m. today. <laughs>